between Israel and Hamas is hitting home for students and parents at a school in Oakland. As KTV's Tom Vakar reports, the controversy involves a Palestinian flag on campus. On Tuesday, Oakland freelance reporter Zach Haber posted this picture of a Palestinian flag flying over Oakland's Fremont High School courtyard. Now, it's not clear who put it up there or for how long, but many Palestinians consider this flag a symbol of their identity and freedom. By Wednesday, the flag was gone. But we saw some pointed social media comments such as, and people wonder why Jewish families don't feel safe in OUSD right now. Shira, a parent of Israeli Arab ethnicity, has a son in seventh grade in the Oakland Unified School District. Our students are struggling to keep up after COVID with their math and their reading, and I don't understand why this is such an issue here. And if it was about peace, there would have been an Israeli flag and a peace sign as well. And the flag that was way up in the air? It causes real damage on the ground to the students, and that it causes more divisiveness and puts our children in harm's way. We already have to deal with violence on school campuses, and now we're going to get into geopolitical conflict. Zoya Vase is a Walnut Creek mom with six children and stepchildren whose family migrated from Russia to flee anti-Semitism there. It is very clear when you fly a Palestinian flag over a public school that you are taking a stance. If they were taking a humanitarian approach, and their resolutions and their thoughts and their ideas were around bringing home hostages, were around peace as a whole in the region, that would be one thing, but they're clearly taking a stand. Another post, you rarely see the American flag in classrooms and the teachers on the American dream. In fact, Neither school flagpole that we saw had the American flag, though California law requires it during school hours, weather permitting. To see that one-sided response and to have the, an educational foundation behind it and to have it be you know, driven as a, hey, this is, this, is a, this is what we want to teach the next generation. Our messages to the public information officer of the Oakland Unified School District, despite being placed early in the day, went unanswered. Tom Vakar, KTVU Fox 2 News.